So we're going to start now. Okay. Welcome to Card Salad. I am hosting now. Look at me. I am the host now. I am Justin, the salmon, and with me is Mitch and Bill. And James is not here, but we're recording this right after the Dragon Ball Super opening, and uh, it, it's hard to explain, but... We don't have another layout. Yeah, I didn't have time to create another layout, and we need that camera to be here for the video to work, so... James' camera is just down there like a dead husk of a camera. So that's that. So today... He didn't want to see your faces. And he didn't want you to see his faces. Um, we're going to go over the, the first round of spoilers for Flesh and Blood Monarch. Um, the set releases May 7th. Today is, wait, January, February, March, April, May, yeah, May 7th. Today is April 12th. Um, we do, our, at this time of recording, we have some extra cards from the round two of spoilers. The time zones get weird because they're 19 hours ahead of us, but mostly U.S.-based people are revealing the cards. It's weird. <clears throat> um, but we're going to do this day by day, and so we're just going to look at the first seven. Um and kind of ignore the knowledge we have of the future cards, which is not much. I think I've only seen the new hero. Um, oh, it's the new hero not revealed today, technically. E correct. The, oh, okay. the, the hero will not be in this video. Okay. Um, so before we start, I just want to say we're not, by any means, flesh and blood professionals. Um, we have a fair amount of card knowledge of card games between us, but... Um, you know, flesh and blood is still pretty new to most of uh, to all of us, and uh, we're gonna do our best to kind of guess power levels of cards, see how they fit, just off of the top of our heads. We don't even have knowledge of like all of the current cards, but we love the game, we play the game, and we're just gonna kind of do our best to uh, see how these cards, see if these cards spark joy, um, and give you give you our thoughts, and then we'll rate them one to ten on basically their power level. Um, like how we'll think will they'll affect the game, the art, and then uh, their mechanic, their mechanical uh, prowess, <laughs> creativity. Um, do the mechan are the mechanics cool and thoughtful and new? Uh, that kind of thing. <clears throat> so, um, first up, as you can see, it's just sitting on the screen here. I don't, I don't have any other sources besides this screen right here, right now. So that's what we've got. Uh, first card, Celestial Cataclysm. It costs zero because why wouldn't it? It has a god on it. It's like, it basically, when I saw the art, I was like, oh, this is E Strike 2, uh, Enlightened Strike. Um, let's see. As an additional cost to play Celestial Cataclysm, banish three cards from your hero's soul. Go again. Uh, seven attack, three defense. Seems pretty broken to me. This yeah. this literally screams enlightened strike to me. Should we do our scoring in order of where we are? Sure. So we'll do how strong it is, and then you, then Mitch, then me, then we'll do artwork, you, then Mitch, then me, that kind of thing. And each give a score. Yeah. So I was, I, yeah, I was kind of, I was thinking we'd each give a score, and then maybe we'll just average it and give it the card yeah. salad score. So we'll do that, and, but we'll, we can chat about the card before we give it our, our rating. Um, yeah, this this definitely screams Enlightened Strike, obviously because it's literally another godlike figure striking with lightning, which it's like almost exactly Enlightened Strike in, in the image. But um, so we do know that um, your hero's soul is going to be a new mechanic where um, you when a card goes to your soul it goes underneath your hero face up. And I think that's literally like lift your hero up and put another pile uh, there and put your hero. I don't think it actually probably doesn't matter. You could maybe put it below your hero or the way the wording was on the card that says what putting things in your soul is said to put it under your hero. So that's, that's what your soul is. So I imagine you build your, you like put cards in your soul throughout the game. And so you have to have three cards in your soul to use this. 
but it's played for zero. So when you do play this, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's not only a zero for seven with go again. I did. Oh my God. It has go again. Um, it pitches for two. If you can't activate it yet, this thing is crazy. Oh, right. Majestics only have one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, there's no red. Yeah. It's only one color. Uh Oh, they're only yellow. Well, there some of them are blue, some of them are red. They, oh, they only have oh, one version. Well, this one, this one's only yellow. This one's yeah. only yellow. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is like bananas. So you're giving it a, an eleven, I'm guessing. So. Yeah, so for, diff- for strength, what are you giving it? Okay, so. I think we're gonna be very torn on some of these choices. Yeah. So as far as we have no idea how good the shadow or the light classes are going to be. So this is a light action, which will, there will be multiple light heroes. It's not light is not one class. So this will be playable amongst multiple heroes. Um, We don't know if they'll be good or bad or whatever, but in a vacuum, this card is totally broken and I give it a 10 for sure. I think it's literally, you're like, here come like zero. It's zero for seven. Go again. This thing is devastating. Mitch, I I'm gonna give it seven point five. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whole way. whole numbers in here. Seven. Giving it a seven strictly based upon, uh, we have no clue how hard it is gonna be to get cards into your soul. Um, we we don't know um if the cards that are in your soul are gonna be like very beneficial to you and you actually want to get rid of them. Um, you know, like it, it could be, you know, may, maybe your hero power also has to do with having cards in your soul. So you might not want mm. to, to banish them. This, it could uh, be a game ending card rather than yeah. something no. you play. What's yeah. Great? Uh, not saying that it's definitely not extremely powerful and could see a ton of play. I just think right now with not knowing how the light is going to, you know, unfold, um, and you know how getting cards in your soul is going to be. I, I, I gotta give it a seven because it it could potentially, okay. could potentially be difficult to play. Seven's a passing grade. Your parents aren't mad at you, <laughs> but they're like, you need to do a little better. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. give it a four. What? Wow. All it right. costs a bare minimum of at least three resource. It says zero in the resource in the corner, but you're getting rid of three cards for good. You can pull Banish back, can't you? Yeah, they they are bringing in ways, at least for Shadow, that we know you of right to, now. You have to you combo. Get banish cards back. So say a card costs three. You pitch three, boom, you play it. This card costs zero, cool. You have to do something to get cards in your soul. You have to have three cards in your soul. You have to banish those cards in the soul. And if you want them back, you have to have another card to bring them back. This has too many prerequisites, and I'm going to give it... Did I say four or three? You said four. 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 I'm going to give it a four. Okay. Wow. Okay. We're all over the board with this. Yep. All right. This is good. This is good. <laughs> yeah, I just it's think... It's average. I just think it's completely busted. Like, because I'm assuming we're going to see cards where putting cards in your soul is just a consequence of playing a card and they just go there. Like you'll just stack them up. And like you, even if you draw this too early, it's two resource. Like pitching two is great in a lot of cases. Like two resources will get you a lot. Um, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's bonkers, but okay. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll revisit the, we might um, come back and do like a, once the whole set is revealed, um, come back and revisit some of these and see <laughs> our most controversial. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, so art. That's a 7 out of 10 power that we gave it as an average. Okay. Is that exactly the, the 10 and the 4 yeah. cancel out and 7? Um, ooh. It's certainly awesome, but I'm not a fan of, like, Greek mythology. Yeah. Um, I think whether you're a fan of Greek mythology or not. I know, I, so I'm trying... I'm trying. I'm trying to look at it uh, objectively. Just what, how does it make me feel? It's cool. Like it, it looks. It's explosive, but it is a little over the top. <laughs> He's lightninging an entire <laughs> city to death. But that's awesome at the same time. I, I, th- I think I that's think a I, statue of like a, a shadow person. 
I'm pretty sure that's an entire city. There's buildings yeah, in there. If you look all the way to the right, there's like spires. And yeah, that's there. like a castle. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought, it was, I thought it was just a statue. Uh, that's like a whole castle. Just. Um, okay, so I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a seven. I think I re- I like it, but I'm not a fan. And it's a. It's like really bright, and you you know it is hard to see what's going on in it, but it is cool. I'm I'm also at a seven. I I I pretty much a very similar outlook on this card, of the art style. Never the negative one. Until now, um, <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a five. Wow, Bill I think hates it's a pretty this good card. Art. I think it's a pretty good art, but it's washed out with yellow. Oh the yeah, is yellow. Yeah. The top's yellow. The card's yellow. It's everything this, is yellow. This it's... would cause a car accident in traffic, right? This car <laughs> like taped to your window. <laughs> yeah. The um, mechanical creativity. I guess the mechanical creativity is hard to do because we're not really no. sure how the mechanic entirely works. But it is. Um, I mean, it's like it's pretty average. I think another seven because it's just like banish some cards and go again. There's nothing new here. It's just you're banishing cards from a new location. I guess. Yeah. How are we doing that on a one to ten scale? Like, what is? <laughs> What is a five? We'll just do the two things. Yeah, we'll just. Yeah, that yeah. sounds. I, th- fine. I think I'll just say the it, whole set. it seems like a fancy, harder to use pyroblast. <laughs> that's what that's what this makes me think of. In in a shell, it is a a big hitting card with a cost that is alternative to standard cost, which has been done, and it also lets you ch- combo. That's that's about it. It is very powerful mechanically, though. Seven damage, zero cost, go again. That is, you know, when pulled off, insanely yeah. powerful. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how I'll throw up the numbers at the end uh, if we're going to skip the mechanical grade, but, yeah, we, I sh- there should be a grade on either side for, like, art and uh, and the other thing, uh, whatever we're doing. Okay, Doomsday. It is a blue pitch, zero cost again. Um, it is a legendary. I should have I should mention that on the last card. That's a majestic, and this is a legendary. Um, this is, according to Mitch, I haven't checked all the cards, but I believe it that this is the first legendary class specialization we've gotten. As in, you can only have one in your deck. Uh, well, it is also legendary. <clears throat> um usually the legendary tag like it um uh like uh what is it the what is the black text it's a mechanic it's like text? a key a keyword a keyword keyword oh. it's the legendary keyword not the rarity is usually you can only have one or is you can only have one in your deck and so far it's only been on like the fabled stuff um yeah oh wait but th- no no because the the arknight shard is a viscerai specialization isn't it or is it you can you have to be Runeblade? Uh, All right, you you look that up. I'll read the card. Yeah. All right, Doomsday Legendary Leviah specialization. You may only have one Doomsday in your deck, and only if your hero is Leviah. Play Doomsday only if there are six or more cards with blood debt in your banish zone. Create a Blasphemate, the Soul Harvester token. So this one's. Okay, uh, Arknight Shard is a Room Blade resource, and it is a, f- a fabled. Oh, but it, it's not a Viscerai specific. It is a Viscerai, Viscerai specialization. Yeah, it is Room Blade resource. Mm, yeah, but Room Blade is not Viscerai. It's, it's a Viscerai specialization, yes. Yeah, okay. but. Legendary Viscerai oh, specialization. Yeah, d- yeah, just say yes. le- legendary so, Viscerai. Yes. So we have seen that before, but it's been fabled. So this is this is a legendary in that form. So so this yeah, one's a card. bit... This one's kind of impossible to give a power rating to because we don't know what a Blasphemate, the Soul Harvester token is. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm okay. pretty excited to see anything about that. Yeah, okay. So Blood Debt, we do know that Blood Debt is a keyword, and I... It may, I'm pretty sure it works this way. A card with blood debt, when it's in your banished zone, um, costs you one life at the end of your um, end phase. 
So you end your turn with blood debt cards in your banish zone. You start taking, you bleed, you pay them blood. Mm-hmm. So six or more in your banish zone. So you don't have to play them all at once. You just need six cards with blood debt. But it, you, you know, it's dangerous to, if you if you stack them up over a lot of turns and just, you're leaving like four, five blood debt cards, you're you're bleeding very fast. You're dying. Is this? You think this is gonna be like kill Jaden? Is it kill Jaden that takes over your hero? Are you talking to Mitch? Yeah, is that a magic thing? Hearthstone. Kill Jaden. What? Is that a character? Kill is that a yeah. hero? It's one of the warlock things in the card. It's like a 12 damage card, but it takes over your hero spot when you play it. Oh, it's oh. demon. Uh... Um. He's the same species as kill Jaden, I think. Yeah, but he. But, oh man, Jaraxus. Yeah. Oh yeah, Maldrax. Destroy your hero and replace replace it with Jaraxus. Um Well, but do you think the blast from it, the Soul Harvester token? Because we've seen weapon tokens, right? And obviously, Rune Chant tokens. Is this going to be a token that goes on your hero and has a specialization or a not a special uh, ability? A, uh, like a really good ability. Yeah. Yeah. But lower health. Potentially, it sounds like. You're gonna it's you're gonna summon like a permanent buff though is what I I feel like it's gonna be yeah but it's su- clearly a person right but it it could just be like he's like on your side of the battlefield and like you know he's kind of like a demon god or something like that and he's like buffing you or maybe you can use like his attack every turn or something of that sort I don't feel like he's gonna replace your hero maybe he stops blood debt from from damaging you. If he's in play, so once you get six in there and summon him, then you create him and then you stop taking damage from your... So from there on out, your cards are just nuts because they don't have a, a downside. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Um, if I want me to create... Okay, so you have to draw... So, so this is a one of. So in Classic Constructed, it's kind of interesting because in Classic Constructed, you only have one and you have to find it when you have six blood deck cards in your banish zone, I guess you can hold it in your hand if you need to, or put it in your arsenal. Mm-hmm. But in um, in blitz, that nobody you, randomly discards it. Yeah, in blitz, <laughs> you don't want to bleed that much. You don't have uh-huh. health to. In blitz, you would be utilizing this card. I I kind of feel the same. I I don't think unless there's an easy way to not bleed from blood debt. Uh, I, I think you just kill yourself too fast. Um. I mean, we're not going to talk about the hero, but the hero that they announced does have the a power the power to not take oh, blood yes. debt damage. That's right. So it it may be yeah okay it may be possible, and it'd be a little easier to find in Blitz. But we can we can revisit this card a little bit tomorrow. Yeah, with the hero. Uh, yeah, and we'll probably yeah we'll need to see the Soul Harvester token, and that's that's a bit of a mm-hmm. bummer because when Hearthstone shows a card that has a to- a special token, they always provide the token. Yeah, I'm a little shocked the tokens. Right, that's half of the card is that token. Yeah, yeah, because this card is basically like, look at nothing. (laughs) Because the effect of the, you can't see what the effect of the card is. Know that you can do something with this card. Yeah, but. You can do something. But Blasphemy at the Soul Harvester sounds very powerful. (laughs) It does. And you have to have six cards that make you bleed in your banish zone. So it's probably going to be pretty good, but we could skip straight to the art score here. And uh, I'm just going to give it a, a 10. It's amazing. I hope this is a cold foil. I hope it's a play mat. It's a, it's a pile of bones leading up to a bloody, gutsy throne. It's awesome. One second, I agree. But I'm going to give my score. I give it a three. I hate that aesthetic myself. <laughs> i've always hated that aesthetic i always will but i'll okay. be right back all right i really like it you like are you you also give it a 10 yeah oh I, I i i really like as bill says i i like the aesthetic um once i started seeing the way that the cards were when they were coming out and a lot of the skeletons blood bones and whatnot it was like oh yeah i i, I think this set's gonna be really really nice mm. Yeah, um, like, I'm not, like, a gigantic fan of, like, I don't have posters of, like, 
skeletons and blood. Like I, I just, it's cool though. Like <laughs> when I play games that like, you know, Diablo, mm -hmm. it's kind of that aesthetic and it, I, it's just cool. I mean, nothing against it. It's just, it's just cool. Just cool. You know? Um, so, uh, I know I said whole numbers only, but our average is 7.6 on that artwork. Look at that. <laughs> All right, up next, Eclipse Existence. It pitches blue. This is, so I was actually a little bummed. Not the, the it, it's still going to be awesome, but this was the cold foil card. This and another one were a cold, the cold foil cards coming with the pre release kits, right? These were the promos. Uh, I, I didn't know that they announced what they were. They showed the images. When, oh, remember? I I had no clue. Yeah, that, those were the, our first look at, at Flesh and I just bought it because I knew it was going to be promos. <laughs> Wait, it showed the promos in the promo. I didn't pay All attention, right. I guess. Monarch pre-release <laughs> kit. You kidding me? Uh, yeah, so I can't really get... Oh, wait, yes, I can. There you go. You can see that, right? It looks weird yeah. on stream or on the on the recording, but um, this right okay, here, so yeah, yeah. So it's Eclipse hard. Existence and Ray of Hope, which I think are both in the video today. Um, yeah. They're common cards. Yeah. So we're getting common no, cold foils, aren't they? No, they're commons. Uh, oh wait, actually, Ray of Hope looks like a legendary, but Eclipse Existence is common. Fascinating. Where's my, where's my, there we go. Um, yeah, so I, I saw that it was okay. common and I was like, oh, we're getting cold foil common instance? It's kind of interesting. It is, it, it, they are branching the cold foil uh, cards out, right? Yeah. It, it, at first it was only like the equipment and the, the fabled things. And then it was, he, now they're doing like the promo cold foil heroes. Yeah. Oh, and then Shyana was in uh, Crucible. <clears throat> so they are starting to apply cold foil to a lot more cards. Not that they're going to be everywhere, but this is very interesting that it's a it's a common cold foil. Hopefully, you don't pull this out of monarch boxes. Yeah, just, I, I think it'll just be a promo. a promo. Yeah, yeah, it'll stay a promo. Actually, according to their ruling, though, they can print it in monarch. They can print yeah. the cold foil as many times as they want if it if it did not originate in a first edition set. So if they printed it. If they print this first, and then they then they can just put it in <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Um. Anyways, eclipse eclipse existence. It's a blue. Cost zero again. I. D it's unknown if this is gonna be red and yellow as well. Um. Because it's a uh, common. My guess is it would be. My guess also would be, but why would they give us the blue? I don't know. Maybe it won't be. Whenever an attack control an attack you control hits a light hero this turn, you may banish a card from their soul. If you do, they lose one life. If you have more than more life than the oppo an opposing light hero, you may banish an action card from your graveyard. Okay. Honestly, it seems pretty strong. It does seem it does seem pretty strong. Here's the limiting thing, though. Not it, unless they retcon every hero into being a light or a dark, which I don't ba based on the hero we've seen, which we shall not speak of. They are not going to do that. Uh, light and dark heroes are going to be specific hero cards. Mm -hmm. They say light so and so or dark yeah. or shadow so and so. So if you come up against Ranger, <laughs> right, Mechanologist, this card does nothing. Hey, it gets you three resource. It pitches for three, though, which I think is maybe the reason this is only a blue card. Yeah, but sink below. You put a blue sink below it, and it's far more useful. Correct. So, yeah. honestly, now I'm, yeah, I'm leaning towards this card being pretty bad, to be honest. Um, unless, li like, if the meta is all light, this is fine, right? You can you can punish them. But like Bill said, there's just better neutral options to put in if it's like 
occasionally you run up against a light hero, right? Dark could be the meta, and then you're or shadow, and then you're like, this still does nothing. <laughs> um, yeah. if you have more opposing, and you don't even get the heal effect. Oh wait, no. If you you don't get the banish effect if they're not a light hero either. So. Yeah, unless they unless they really um, surprise us and you know say like this these heroes are light and these heroes are shadow, and like everyone is a light or a shadow. This card is just like really bad in yeah every matchup except for a light hero, which is kind of sucks. I, I think I give this card like a th a two. I give this yeah. card a two. It's like you can you can put it in if light is going crazy and it's a good card, but. Yeah, like yeah. Said, it one below. in a vacuum because I don't think it has any use as a main card in a deck and it has very little use as, as a like a sideboard card. I don't even think you have sideboard, but you, oh, yeah, you have, you side, you have yeah, sideboard yeah. and classic. Yeah, you have sideboard. Yeah. But yeah, like so, what are you like what are you taking out of your deck to sideboard this if it is a light hero? Okay, well, I forgot about sideboard. So you you can no, put no. this yeah, you could put, you can one, hold. Yeah. yeah, you get uh yeah, so you have yeah. 20 sideboard cards. So, okay, but again, it would be totally dependent on the meta being enough light that you're like willing to tech for it in your sideboard. So, in that in that case, you put a couple of these in your sideboard and it's really good. It really helps your matchup against light heroes. I I give it a 3. <laughs> Looking if you put it, three of them, that's fifteen percent of your sideboard. That's not very much. I mean, I mean, looking at in it, other card games, I, you you tech one card, two cards in in a deck, and if I were I building know, a deck, I think that's not that bad. I would exhaust every option basically that is available right this second, and then if I was not at eighty, I would throw these in. Okay. Yeah. I think that's fair, and I think that puts it at a three for me. It's like it has a place, but it's like pretty unlikely that it's gonna ha that place is gonna exist. Yeah, at least so far, because we have no idea about like light how light heroes are gonna be or how yeah. powerful. I think I'd also be at a three. I was thinking four, but I think I'll it's bump three, it up so. to a two. I think at launch it's like a six or a seven because obviously everyone's gonna be trying out the light and yeah. shadow stuff. And then, you know, once the meta settles and, like, other decks come back in, um, it, go, it just goes... Once we're back to Dorinthia and... <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is... Ira. Ira. Dorinthia and Ira, then yeah. nobody's gonna play it. Um, I give the artwork an 8. Uh, again, I'm not, like, I'm not, like, a huge fan of, like, Demon and Angel stuff, but this is, like, a really cool piece. Uh, the border is crazy for a common card. Um, I... Yeah. Isn't that just a rune blood? Shadow, it's is, a shadow border. Yeah, it seems to be rune blade. Yeah, it's really cool. Because um, uh, light light border is just warrior. Light what? Light light border. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty no, sure it it's is. Not. It's like a purple. Uh, no. Sword for rune Wait, blade. what is that? Rune blade. Rune blade. But is is yeah. that um like a specialization? Oh no, you want the specialization. Well, this isn't it. a specialization. This is just a shadow instant. It's just a common. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty good looking card. I would give that a seven. Yeah, kind of. It looks like a like a real painting. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to move on to the next one. Oh, wait, uh, Mitch, uh, art score? Um, Did we both give it an eight, Bill? Did you say seven. eight? Seven. Seven. I'm an eight. So Bill's a seven. I'll give it a nine. nine. It looks like there's a little bit of detail in the uh, face of the cloak. Yeah, there's like I a like little that. skull. There's a little skull head. Instead of just... There's a lot going on. You got some demons, uh, and you got yeah. I think is that yeah. not the same? It's the same like skeleton. Demon? Yeah. Oh, it's a, okay. Gotta bring out the viscerai deck. So I did hear mention of uh, borders mattering. Eventually, they mm -hmm. could. So they could do the. So thing. maybe viscerai will become a shadow hero. Um, 
I th they did clarify it on the website already. Oh yeah, is it not? Yeah. Gonna... No. It doesn't matter. So. Yeah. So none of the past heroes will be. Um. I mean, they could make them, and create a shadow or a light version of them, but any of the original heroes are not light or dark, and okay. cannot use light or like a shadow. Okay. Lighter shadow. Very good to know. Yeah. They will not be retconning the heroes. Okay. That's yeah. going to make a lot of things obsolete. But either it, in the new set or the old sets. Who knows? Yeah. It does seem, though, like they will be releasing multiple heroes for this set. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I. I'm hoping I don't to know see at least one be... of each class uh, become a shadow or a light. Yeah. I, d I don't know if, if they'll end up doing it like. Um, WTR and ARC, and there's four and four. So if we get four classes in Monarch, and then we get four more in um, Kingdoms. Mm -hmm. I hope so, we don't have to wait that long, because you know I'd love to see everyone get a, a like every class get a refresh and all these being able yeah. to use Shadow and Light, and uh, but there could still be good good neutral cards that change the old classes anyway. That just that aren't specifically shadow or there will light. there will be neutral <clears throat> cards. Um, oh yeah. Uh, that. I mean, we we'll we'll go more into the the hero tomorrow, but it it is a brute shadow, and they are also hey, making. We said we're not going on the hero. We're we're <laughs> next we're card discussing this hero a lot no. for not <laughs> mentioning no. them. I'm not I'm not saying I'm just saying you just gave that... more information on it. <laughs> no, I'm not we're gonna reveal the hero at the end of the video. <laughs> on the um <laughs> the way that the cards are going to be working and how the the set is going to be set up um cuz it that hero is um a brute but there will also be actual brute cards in the set as well so that way brute will be getting new cards spoilers Ah, okay. We got another legendary blue card here that costs zero. I'm sensing a theme. Um, <laughs> legendary chain specialization, or cane, or chani, or chane. Uh, chain. You may only have... Oh, Shane. God. Chain. Cane. Uh, accurate choice there. Cane with a silent C. You may only have one George. Eclipse in your deck, and only if your hero is Kane. Play Eclipse only if you have played six or more cards with Blood Debt this turn. If you have, you may play Eclipse from your Banished Zone. Create an Urser, the Soul Reaper token. All right, so we have another card. We can't really comment on its power level because we don't have Urser, the Soul Reaper token. This is a surprisingly another Shadow do something crazy and summon a token thing. I, don't think I will say, light one. history has shown things like blood debt. Being able to use your life as a resource is usually very, means very, you're very extremely good. powerful. Yeah. Yeah. So it means your cards have so many extra stats that because you're killing yourself, mm -hmm. that it's usually just like super powerful. Yeah, it's like they give they give you twenty life and magic. You're gonna use eighteen of it happily. <laughs> if that last two gets used, you're a little upset, but that's, you know, that's how I look at it. So this what yeah, at a glance, this seems extremely powerful because it is a planet of skeletons eclipsing the sun. Um, no, but for real, uh, this wants you to play six cards specifically with blood debt this turn. Playing six cards in any class right now is not a reality. It is, I guess it over a wide turn of like mechanologist or um, ninja. If you've procked the mask and like maybe used an ability to draw another card from the deck, like playing six cards is crazy in any scenario. Like you just ended the game, and it is turn. It's not chain link. It is, yeah. It is uh, this turn. So over the whole turn, play six cards with blood debt. So um, we have seen. Uh, are we gonna? Yeah, there's a card coming up. It lets you draw cards. If it's in your banished zone, you play it for free. So we know that the, the shadows are going to be able to draw cards pretty easily. Um, and this shows that they that's kind of the point. They need to play a bunch of zero-cost cards. That And 
Interestingly, they all have to have blood debt. That's a lot of specific cards you need to play to mm -hmm. activate this. So either the Soul Reaper is going to be totally busted or this card is just way too complicated to pull off. But we don't know how many blood debt cards there's going to be. Because, like, if your deck is, like, half blood debt, half other things, like, it might be really tough to play six unless you're drawing, like, a ten-card hand. I Like, who knows? I, I kind of am feeling this may be too hard to pull off regularly. But um, certainly looks very cool and sounds sounds crazy to mm -hmm. pull off a huge combo like that. In any case, I give the art a ten for sure. This mm -hmm. absolutely need a play mat or need this card to be cold foil. Yeah, I one hundred percent agree. I think this is this could probably be my favorite card that they've made so far. <laughs> it's so I, cool. I, I, I love I love it. I oh, give hold on. Here comes the two. I think I give it out of ten because I think it encapsulates like a horror. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it totally it's like does. You, and it's kind of playing on you didn't see this, but when the sun comes behind it and you see that what that's actually made of. Yeah. Seeing, and it's like, <laughs> oh, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on up there? It makes you think. I okay. Like well, think about this, though. So, like, an asteroid, right, it's a big hunk of mass. It's a big rock, and it's going to cause an explosion when it hits. This is a bunch of bones. So when it hits, it does some damage, but don't you think the skeletons are all going to just kind of, like, fly? You know, it's all, like, there's a lot of air in between skeletons compared My to rock. My thought is more, what put the skeletons there? <laughs> What created you know? a moon of skeletons? Yeah, <laughs> that, that's my All thought. Right. That's a that's a fair point. <laughs> yeah. Who did this? I, to I really you? hope this is cold foil. I, I'll be. Oh man, I know. Them. it I, is I, a legendary I, card. It is legendary. I almost hope that it's hard to play, and people don't want it, so it's cheap, so I can buy a bunch of them. <laughs> just... Dude, you know, any cold foil is not gonna be, <laughs> not gonna be. Cheap. I mean, like. Or legendary first edition. 150 to 300 bucks. I'd say that's cheap for this. Oh, yeah. yeah if if, if I could get them for, for anywhere there, I, I'd probably buy, I would, oh, I, I'd probably buy like five of them at 150 bucks or, you know, maybe more of them. But <laughs> nice. 300, I'd probably buy at least a play set. Just a play set. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll be. Play uh, set's technically uh, one, but. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, if it if it wasn't only one in a deck, I you know I'd buy three yeah. of them. Yeah. All right, next card we got Ray of Hope. Hey, this card costs something. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> so we have a two pitch, one cost, common. Um, so that image, that image looked like this was gonna be legendary, but it's just it's common as well. This is the yeah. other cold foil I believe we're getting with the, yeah. the um, pre-release boxes. So let's see if it's any better than that horrendous uh, shadow in shadow card. <clears throat> um, attacks you control have plus one attack while attacking a shadow here. Nope. Already, I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> if you have less life than an opposing shadow hero, put Ray of Hope into your hero's soul. Put this card face up under your hero card. So that's kind of where we get the explanation of what is a soul. Um, cards you play and then go under your hero as your you start stacking up your soul. Um, so this is this is an instant. That's an, that's one thing we didn't cover previously is that these are instants. These are not like attack actions or anything. So you can play this. Uh, attacks you control have plus one. So this you don't even have to do like a reaction. You could be like you could just like pop this out of nowhere. Um, plus one attack if you have less. Okay, so you have to have less health than a shadow hero to put this in your soul. So again, we run into the problem where if you're not playing a shadow hero, this cannot get into your soul, which sounds like it's going to be beneficial for light heroes. I want to note, the shadow one earlier, Doomsday? Yeah. I think it was Doomsday. No, Eclipse Existence. That gets a lot worse. When you also think about the fact that you're using blood debt. Whenever you attack, you control, you may banish a card. The second part. If you have more life 
than an opposing light hero. You may ban no, that actually helps too. If You're you going to be sacrificing your life, own life. How are you ever going to have more life than them? Yeah, it, it is true. If you are bleeding constantly, you need to be. It's. I'm guessing that's that, to help. That's to help you get less life. That, that, that's you're already like going to be under. The, unless you're oh, that the only use that card is in the first one or two turns. Yeah. It, it's a, yeah, that it makes definitely like so Yeah, it just worse. it just makes it harder to use. It's just yeah, like it's, it's kind of like a conditional. kickstart help you get things going yeah, into that makes it, zone. I think that makes it worse. It yeah, it really now does. It's you have to have it. Yeah. Just got less useful. Yeah. Still pitch for 3. Yeah. Um pitch for oh. 3. Oh. Ah, spoiler. Um, yeah, so these cards just seem really bad. They just seem really bad, except for right at launch. Oh, here is a, here's what we should have. Maybe we'll do it in the next video. We should have done a draft power rating because these are built for draft as well. So these are more balanced and powerful in a draft scenario mm. where you're, where you're probably going to be against shadow and light heroes. Um, but we'll worry about that later. The, the, in the overall classic constructed and, uh, blitz formats, um, I think both of these are awful. Um, and I might even bump. Yeah. I was at three on that first one. I'm not going to, I'm not going to change the score in the video, but, um, I'm thinking it's like a two and I think this is probably going to receive the same thing. Um, it's actually like, I mean, I don't, we don't know any synergy with putting things in your soul, um, it sounds good, but, um, you know, plus one attack is like, you paid one for that. I mean, I, there's cards that like zero for plus three or crazy shit. This is like, you have to be against a shadow hero. It gives you plus one. And if you have less health, it goes, I don't know. It just seems, it seems even cards in your soul. It seems even worse than the shadow one. I think it's a one. This is a one rating card. For uh, me. It's a combat trick. Which gives it that helping hand. I think I give it the same. Also, two. Uh, I will say anything that I'm giving a low score, I hope is better than I think it is. Mm -hmm. Right, because that makes it makes them more interesting. I'd rather be wrong. Yeah, I'm going with the yeah. Two. No, I'm definitely against bad cards. I don't like seeing bad cards, but just just the fact that like we already have eight classes that are not <laughs> dark, and light is also not dark. So half of the heroes that are going to be in this set are not dark or shadow. Like you're so limited on your matchups for when this is good that I just don't see a point. And it, you can't even put it in your soul to be synergistic with the rest of your deck. If you're not against a shadow hero. Uh, so yeah. Art. Art. I actually don't like it at all. I give the art like a two. It's like, I kind of like the, it looks like a painting again, like hand painted. Um, but I really don't like the whole angel thing. And it's the chick, the main chick on the uh, image. I don't, I just don't like it. It just has a vibe with me. I got four. I give it a four because I like the whole massive army heavenly host. However, the dude in the bottom right, where, why is he going the other way? <laughs> wait is he maybe a shadow guy oh wait no because well, there's the like other a... ones don't have the wings he has the wings look at this guy here diving yeah, like just diving. straight just straight up like both they are, hands forward they're clearly on different pages as well as just like the zeus card it is incredibly right. washed out washed out it is very is this out. is this guy stabbing himself in the face right here? What's happening? Kind of seems like it. Kind of seems like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be shadows. I think these two right here are shadows. But no, that guy's got wings. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Let's go. I don't know. Yeah, but and not they have white, white wings. angel wings. I don't go, go back. Hmm. No, yeah. not white, but. <laughs> yeah, totally ripped apart, tattered wings. Wait, do you Still think these right. images line up? I don't know. No. Uh, we're past it. No. Tome of Divinity. Holy cow. Uh, boy, does this one cost something. Uh, it is that a two. That would go in. 
two two pitch four cost majestic light instant uh draw two cards if a card has been put into your hero's soul this turn instead draw three cards oh okay so i i thought it was in instead of putting it in your soul but no okay you draw three cards for the co cost of four um it is an instant so that could actually be crazy in combat um or even like i mean it would still be combat but like Someone's about to kill you. Maybe a wizard fires at you with an instant, and you instant and dig for something to save yourself, um, or you dig for more damage, more um, attack reactions, or more instants. Uh, drawing cards instantly is not to be underestimated. I don't know how you're paying for though. That's yeah. a that's a that's a um, question um there could be some synergy with like cards in your soul and like mm -hmm. reducing uh, or gaining resources that way or reducing yeah. cost um, you could have tunic you could have energy potions yeah that's true it could be a bigger combo kind of thing yeah um i think this card has a slight edge on something like three of a kind but if you look at how three of a kind does now you think that's a drawback, but Ranger has no problem playing from Arsenal. Playing so, what? From Arsenal. Oh right. Um, it know, does take so... it does take a lot of effort though um, to refill the Arsenal a bunch. Uh, you actually have to like pop your equipment, and if you play some cards that have reload, you could really get there. But so far, Ranger hasn't really been figured out that way. But I, I see what you're saying, where they, they that's going to synergize I... with their. That's the only way they attack anyway. I do think this is better. But that doesn't make it like a god card, you know? Yeah, the four cost is really the glaring issue here. If it and was like a two cost, that's an auto-include light card. Yeah. Drawing up to three instantly is so powerful. I see why it costs four. And I'm guessing like it's really hard to reduce this or pay for it because it's so powerful. I mean, you could... So actually, thinking about it, if you do draw three more cards, it doesn't really matter that you just pitched two cards or maybe one card and a tunic or a potion, like Mitch said. Um, mm -hmm. You just drew three more cards, which you can also pitch if you need to pay for more attacks or defenses or whatever. So I'm really leaning towards like, do I say 10 on this? It's instantly drawing cards. Instantly drawing up to three cards. So it, it since it is a little expense expensive, and you do have to meet a, uh, you do have to meet this criteria to draw the third card. I'm gonna put this at a nine. It's not broken. It seems like they put a lot of work into balancing this effect, and I think it's gonna be, in most if not all light decks, but it is just nerfed enough it seems sure, like what do you have? it's not going to be totally broken so what i'm going to give it i'm going to give this a 9 um Mitch will do that i will say i love my draw cards uh decking myself out is a favorite pastime it's a passion of mine. so i would love to give it a 10 i think the card is over um overbalanced i think they went too far i will give it an eight an eight okay for power mm -hmm. yes um i'm going with a going with a seven seven why seven yeah uh it it is in the instant um they're People are stocking up on those aetherizes. Oh, so I, I know that it is <laughs> yeah. only one class, but you have to think if they're really going this heavy with instants for both Wizard shadow comes and in light. And aetherizes it all. <laughs> yeah. They got to be given something to the other classes to have something to do against instances, whether it be negating them, mm. whether it be it, it gives it lets them like draw a card or something. Like th there's got to so be a way to. 
you're downgrading it, assuming that they're going to counterbalance instance with more like ways to more counter spells, essentially, besides yeah. just wizards and ether eyes. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, I think it, yeah, I think it's very powerful. I think it's balanced pretty well. Um, like I said, the the energy potion, you know, if, if you put that out one turn just as sort of a setup, it only costs two. If you have a tunic and an energy potion, it costs one to draw three. I, so strong. Um, but it, yeah, if you're going up against a wizard, <laughs> they could easily just go, <laughs> no, you're not using that. <laughs> and, oh man, I'm not... You have to pitch too, right? So they would pitch four and then play it, and then you would aetherize it, mm-hmm. and you'd be just devastated. So yeah. there's a joke in in Magic rating cards is that dies removal. Removal so prominent, destroy target creature, destroy all the creatures, all this stuff that people. Oh, it's a creature. Oh, but dies removal, so it's bad. Ah yes, Ever they they have to removal. have it at the time <laughs> yeah. that you play it, so, so it adds another uh, counter, layer of like yeah. so, right, never it's, play it's a spell funny. because counter spell exists. Yeah, I mean, you I mean, could, magic wizard damnation, could just destroy put all it creatures. In never play. Literally a have a card on my desk. Literally yeah. only play spells. <laughs> yeah, wizard wizard could just put aetherize down in their arsenal. Command <laughs> and conquer <laughs> exists though, so that's something to. There's, uh, I mean, you yeah. know, that kind of, oh, and that's a very popular card. Yeah. Oh, art. Um, huh? Art. I actually give this a 10. I love it. Um, it is very bright again with the yellow and, uh, but it honestly gives a feeling of like the book is exploding with power. And I, I really like that. I like all of the extra, the swirls and the words coming out and um, just the art style is really what speaks to me mostly. It just, it's just very whatever they did. I don't know if the, this is a hand drawn or painted or digital. I don't know. I can't even tell what it is, but it just looks awesome. And it's like in the sky. It's like mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's like up above. Is it looks like a forest maybe down below. I don't know. It's like in the clouds and exploding with knowledge and power. It's just awesome. I'm uh, seven again. It's just a little, little too washed out. <laughs> like most of the other light cards. Most it's of the light just, cards. Um, yeah. It's a little too yellow. A little too I'm gonna bright. Give it, I'm going to give it two things that knock its points. One is kind of funny. Uh, one, it does have a little washed out. However, the dark color of the leather on the book helps. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Second, it's straight ripped from black coat clover. Move on. <laughs> oh, it does have a clover on the cover, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> uh. So wait, what's your score? I don't even notice that. Eight. 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 Okay. <laughs> One point per thing. Oh, I got gotcha, gotcha. So a uh, ten and eight and a seven. All right. Uh are we Okay, this is the last card. Oh, we make it a library. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you said that. Um I believe I forgot who revealed this, but apparently their last spoiler card was also a book. I think they did the Tome of Fyandal, and they were like, we're getting a, apparently we're starting a library because we, ha- we get to reveal another book. Um, but uh, this is a Tome of Torment. It is a one pitch, zero cost, majestic shadow action. Not an instant. Um, you may play Tome of Torment from your banished zone. Draw a card. Uh, and it has blood debt. And here's where we get to We probably should have started with like the ones that said what a soul and blood debt are. <laughs> At the beginning of your end phase, if Tome of Torment is in your banished zone, lose one life. So blood debt is if it's in your banished zone, you lose a life at the end of your end phase. Oh, at the beginning of your end phase. Sorry, excuse me. Um, this is a 10. I'm giving it a 10 instantly. And that is because, oh, hold on. I got I to gotta pull back. I got to pull back. It's not an instant. It is yeah. an action. Yeah. This complicates this complicates matters a lot. Okay, let me give you um, the here. It's a ten. It's free. It draws a card. You have ways to give things go again. Probably will be more ways to give things go again. Mm-hmm. As well as, that is a perfect card to use as a resource for things that need to banish other cards. Hmm. Yeah. 
because you banish it with something that has to go mm. again, and then you can play it. Yep. Three, it ca- counts itself as a resource, like you're pitching it for one cost, but at the same time, you get to use it to draw a card. Yeah. So I think I think what we're seeing with Shadow Action is the nerf, right? Is th- this is the balance? Is that you have to you have to find a way to combo if you want to draw a larger hand, like if you want to use this at the beginning. And we've we've actually seen many of these cards are instants so far, right? So you mm-hmm. could you could use your action to draw and then use instants. Um, but also that you could find a way to give this go again, or you could gain extra action points. And actually, you know, Brute has that what scab thing. The guy the guy I played rolled a six and gained three action points. You could play all three of your Tome of Torments from your banish <laughs> zone. And have a yeah. have a seven card hand, right? Um, yeah. So there's definitely I, I I'm I'm like back up to ten, but I am worried about that shadow action. But I assume that they're going to give it enough support where that's like because otherwise it's trash, right? It's just straight hot garbage. I, You're like I start my turn and I draw a card and up. Oh, I okay pass. I'm just gonna save five cards for next turn or the defense or something. I think if that card's an instant, it's banned. <laughs> oh yeah yeah you put three in your banish zone yeah a seven card hand plus any other shenanigans plus you just played again. three blood debts boom here comes a doomsday soon yeah right. or an eclipse yeah. yeah and then there's ways to get them out of your graveyard into your banish zone again three more there you yeah. go now all of a right. sudden you got a 10 card hand it, it had to require an action <laughs> point it had to yeah um, it, it, I mean, zero for drawing a card. It also has the blood debt keyword. It's it's insane. It's a ten. Mitch, uh, nine. Just in case they somehow there isn't enough support for it, it it ends up being a little bit clunky. Uh, I mean, you you don't only have a four card hand, so you don't, you know, somehow, you know, you just have that turn where it doesn't do you very good. But I think most of the time it's going to end up being just right. Very, if very if nice. you can't fig, if you don't have the right tools to use it immediately, it is bleeding you. Assuming yeah. you don't have protection like that hero. Um, yeah. You are like I want to use it, but I don't want to just end my turn, and I'm yeah. bleeding. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that is a that is a risk, but I I mean zero for draw one in any case is just yeah yeah very good. Plus, it doesn't come from your hand. There are some, there are some books that draw you cards, and they, I think, some of them or all of them cost zero. They usually end your turn or, uh, or take an action point or make it so you can only play from your arsenal. But they play from your hand. You lose a card. Um, this is from your banished zone, so you can have arsenal card, four cards in hand, or if you manipulated your, um, your intellect, you could have a five card hand or whatever more draw cards another way and then this is just an extra card on top of that played from your banish zone just crazy just crazy card well here's mm-hmm. a here's a play get three of these in your banish zone sit on that blood debt bleed for three turns while you draw 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 pull around you have altered intellect you already had five pull around with an eight card hand or be able to defend constantly by keeping a four card hand mm-hmm. while you're building up something yeah but you can only use. Wait, how are you? You're bleeding, and you, you have to do it over multiple turns. Yeah. Oh, but that would. Right, but you'd have to use them to defend. Your opponent would just like. Well, that's what I'm saying. You. So you could, if they were drawing nothing or setting up, then you could either end up with a big hand or be able to easily defend them while still having a full hand. Yeah. yeah. Ten from you as well, Bill. I assume. Yeah. So 10, 10, 9, yep. Another thing we actually haven't really taken into consideration with a couple of these is they don't have any defense value. Oh, that's right. So you cannot it, defend with it in a tough situation. Yeah. If you do have it in hand and, you know, you're, you're defending, it's just... <laughs> if you have two or three in hand, right? Because this is something you want to jam a lot of in your deck. Yeah. And if you did happen to draw two or three and you can't... You can't play these. Oh, wait, no. Wait, can you? You can. You can. You because it says you play may it play it from... So you can yeah. still play this and draw a card. Yeah. You, can all, uh, you don't really want to pitch it for one, but... So potentially so, okay. in one turn, you could draw two cards with it. 
even at the very least, you play it as an arsenal. Graveyard, play another card. If you have somehow managed to get go again, puts it into your banished zone. Use it in your banished zone. And then does it I go do back to your you... discard? Yeah, because then if it goes back, back to your discard, forth. you have another card that yeah bounces back and forth, and you just keep drawing. And you that just... sounds incredibly unlikely and a lot of action yeah. points, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> what was that, Bill? At the very least, is you put it in arsenal and you have a five card hand for defense. Mm-hmm. After a turn. Mm -hmm. I think it will yeah. be play regardless of how anything turns out. Yeah. It could also be like if you use up your whole hand um, for like a big attack um, and you did have go again at the end, uh, like your last attack managed to have go again, <clears throat> like scar for a scar, I think is going to be a very popular card coming up. Bleeding yourself, like that just makes sense. Put scar for a scar in your deck, of course. <laughs> um, you finish with scar for a scar, you have go again. And then um, you you use this draw a card that you get to put in your arsenal. So like you you go out on an all out attack, and then you still get to put a card in your arsenal at the end of it all. It's gonna be very mm -hmm. good. Um. All right. So that is the end of the card. Artwork. Oh no. Uh, ten. It's. I'm giving it a nine. Nine. I think I think they could have done a little bit more with the book. I feel like they could have uh, had the book open and something was like trying to come out of it. Uh, still, I think a great artwork. I think it looks very nice, but I think they could have done just a little bit more. Yeah, you got eyeballs on a plate over there. You have a skull with part of a spine yeah, on it, and you got another tiny skull over there. Might be a really big book. I don't know. Uh, it's just so gruesome. It it it's it just really does. It it again has that horror feel, and it mm -hmm. is very. It is the essence of shadow. It's like one of the better like Necronomicon books I've seen because it is so gross. Yeah. 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 I'll give it a seven. I do not like how it looks, but the color palette is done really well. The style is really well. It has a good feel. I like it. Oh, you also have the rune underneath and like the page um, with like some more like mm -hmm. writing about magical stuff. It's there's a lot of detail and a lot of like character. gorgeous. So oh I yeah, keep, I keep bumping it. Yeah, it's no, yeah. It, this this whoever this artist, uh, let me see, Carlos Cruchaga, did a really fantastic bang up job of this card. Thank you, Carlos. Um, and now that will do it for our so it took us. We did an hour. We did another hour talking <laughs> about seven cards. But um, it's a lot of talking tonight. I think that's I think that's good. Um. Because one thing I really like during spoiler season and just new sets in general is I just like to hear people talk about the cards. And I don't I feel like I don't get enough of that with um, actually like I don't even get enough with like Pokemon. I watch a lot of Pokemon people, but I really just sometimes I'm like, why is there no like Pokemon podcast that I'm listening to right now? Or I, I kind of for Flesh and Blood, the best I get is um, watching team covenants like three hour long streams where they're testing out decks and you know they'll throughout it they'll chat about the state of the game and, and cards and theory craft and stuff and i just really like that long form talk about the cards so i'm not even worried about this being an hour long um i hope any viewers out there enjoy it um let us know what your ratings are for the cards in the comments below um let us know if you think we're totally insane um if you've got some insider knowledge on some of these cards. And we will revisit um, once the set is revealed and come back and see just how incredibly wrong or right we were. <laughs> um, and, we have, of course, we'll have to revisit the two cards that have a token guy um, we did that we didn't get to see. I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see two more of those. Two, you think there'll be two light and two shadow ones? Yeah. Be interesting. I, I, it is cool. I love combo. I love big swingy turns. And that is definitely like, you know, you got to play six blood oath cards and mm -hmm. then you get like a big guy and it changes the game from the re for the rest of the match. Right. Like you just, just this big thing that happens. I, I like that. Um, any parting words, guys? I'm excited for the set. I'm glad that we're finally able to get to see some cards. It's uh, going to be a fun month. It's going to be a long month, oh, man, but I, know. Uh, I can't wait to actually be able to get the product and open some of it. 
and uh, hopefully we get to do a pre-release. Uh, not banking on it at the moment, but definitely definitely have product on the way to be able to open. Hard cut. Uh, <laughs> stick around for the next uh, few days as spoiler season continues. We will try to do this daily, and I'm going to try to get it up in a timely manner so it's relevant. Um, talk about each day's spoiler cards. I'm not sure how many days they're doing. There's at least two or three more days so far that I've seen on their website. Could only be a four-day thing. Could be all month. I'm not really sure, but we'll try to keep up on it. And uh, so stick around here. Give us a like and a subscribe if you are interested in seeing the future versions of those videos. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye.